Good pasture management is all about adaptation, I think. It's all about observing what's going on on the land and uh, making decisions based upon what you see, implementing new practices, adjusting, and uh, overcoming barriers. Um, adaptive management is an important tool in, uh, in applying the sound principles of grazing management. And in order to really be adaptive in our mindset, I think it's really important that we have some simple assessment tools that'll help us track our way as we go, both below ground with the soil microorganisms, within the rhizosphere, and then above ground with the plants and the plant communities. These assessment methods that we're gonna to discuss today are very simple to use and they use tools and materials that you have laying around the house or around the barn. So you don't have to really go out and buy anything, you know, things like a can, a bottle of water, a shovel, a pocket knife, a grazing stick, or a ruler, you know, things like this. Through the use of these tools and consistently doing it, perhaps, you know, once a season just to chart our progress, um, we can really track our trends and see if our management is taking us where we want to go. One of the best rapid visual tests that you can do on your farm, on your pastures, is to do an aggregation test. We're going to do one right here on this lower pasture here at Hillside Farm where we're going to dig a little hole and take some soil aggregates and we're going to stand them in water and, and basically time how long it takes for that aggregate to come apart. The soil aggregate is placed in the water and then the water will start entering all the pore spaces within that aggregate. And the quicker it takes for that aggregate to break down, the less biological activity you have in the soil because you have less of the glomalins and glues and the byproducts of microbial action within the soil holding it all together, acting like that glue. If it takes several minutes or more for, this, for that aggregate to break down, you know you've got a very stable soil. It's doing what it's supposed to. It's holding in that water. It's going to be holding in soil nutrients as well to prevent them from running off or even percolating further into the soil and getting into groundwater. So what we want is we want that biological activity that's going to create that soil aggregation and in turn hold that water and hold all those nutrients in. So let's do a soil aggregation test here at Hillside. Okay, so I have an aggregate here that I'm going to put in the water. And you'll notice that it does have a little bit of organic matter in it. Hopefully there's got some glues and stuff holding that together. But we're going to place it in the water. What we'd like to see is we'd like it to see it stay intact for longer than a minute, for sure. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, so this aggregate has remained relatively stable in this water for about one minute. So now I'm just going to swirl it. This soil aggregate held together pretty well after vigorous swirling in the water after it had been sitting for a minute. So we're going to give this a pretty high score for aggregate stability. Um, there's enough biological activity within this first four inches or so to allow for um, this soil to become that sponge that we want to hold water. You can just imagine here, even at the vig vigorous swirling around, you see that not very much of the soil was actually um, dislodged from the aggregate. So that's, that's a pretty good sign right there. So we have these biological processes that involve microbiological activity in insects, earthworms, and small animals. The plant roots provide habitat and release carbon sugars to feed soil microorganisms and contribute to the formation of glues or glomalin that bind the soil into aggregates. And these aggregates are important soil structural components that provide microbiological habitat and give soil its ability to withstand erosion and to withstand the leaching of nutrients. For more information on soil health management, including publications and podcasts and videos, visit atra.ncat.org.